afternoon. I'm Anne Marie LaFlame, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Former Michigan State University President Luanna Simon back in an Ingham County courtroom today in connection with the Larry Nassar abuse scandal. It is the sixth day of Simon's preliminary hearing, which began back in February and will determine if there's enough evidence to send the case to trial. Simon is charged with two felony and two misdemeanor counts of lying to police about when she knew about complaints against the now imprisoned sports doctor. A detective with Michigan State Police described to the court what they were looking for during this investigation into the university. Simon resigned as MSU's president last January. If convicted, she faces up to four years in prison. A Detroit man accused of shooting two men because they were gay has been formally charged. 26-year-old Demetrius Nelson appeared before a judge this morning where he was arraigned on several charges, including first-degree murder. Police say Nelson killed 31-year-old Brian Anderson and critically wounded 26-year-old Malcolm Drake on Saturday. It's alleged that Nelson used the social networking app Grinder to locate his victims. He is being held without bond. Ford and Volkswagen are expanding their alliance when it comes to self-driving cars. VW is sinking $2.6 billion into an autonomous vehicle company in Pittsburgh, which is mostly owned by Ford. The two automakers will now become equal owners of Argo AI based on VW's platform. Ford will build at least one mass market battery car in Europe starting in 2023. The company hopes to sell 600,000 of them over six years. We will check in now with 7 First Alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel. All right, Anne-Marie, we're looking at a decrease in cloud cover as we go through the afternoon. It is going to be less humid, but temperatures still in the low 80s, so it'll be close to average. 64 for a low tonight, mostly clear, and again, low humidity. That humidity will be creeping up, and it looks like it may creep up pretty quickly tomorrow. Temperatures approaching 90 again. It is going to be quite muggy. A chance for a scattered shower or storm in the afternoon or early evening on Saturday. Right now, Sunday looks dry. Temperatures a little cooler, less humid, a high of 83. All right, Hallie, thank you. Those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Of course, you can head to WXYZ.com anytime or download the free 7 app for the news. I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame. Have a great day.